everyone. Good morning. I hope everyone's doing well today. Hi. Good morning, guys. Karishma is helping with the vlogging today. I'm going to try and do a decent job. I'm sure it's not going to be as professional as Ryan's is, but let's see how it goes. So we were just talking uh, together in the car, and uh, we just said, "Oh God, it's been like a year, nearly a year, since at least Karishma has gone to work physically." It's been a year, Karishma. Yeah, I think uh, end March, mid March to end March, it's gonna. Be for for most of us, actually, because. um this time last year i want to say like the pandemic was still something which wasn't global in nature or at least folks hadn't realized uh, the pervasiveness of it and and as we stepped into march and and all of that kind of good stuff as we know you know the world as we knew actually changed but it it seems unreal doesn't it ryan no i'm really worried about like karishma travels by bus train and uh, subway and when you do it every day twice a day morning and evening then the risk of catching something is is so high and i know you can drive to work but driving to brooklyn is not the easiest thing there's a lot of traffic it's like mumbai traffic so what are your thoughts karishma about how long what are your office people saying what are the companies saying about how long this may go on um, work, work from home i know some companies have even started telling the employees that they may not have to come back at all you know It yeah i be... think i think different companies are taking their their own calls yeah. and and i think it's a function also of uh, the kind of business that those organizations are in right so i mean if you're if you're running a grocery chain you have to have your folks come in in person and as we've seen you know um all all are great um you know citizens and co-citizens have have been through it through the peak of the pandemic not just now so i feel like you know different companies have to take the right steps in terms of what makes sense for their business and more importantly for their people um i'm 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 quite hopeful that with the vaccines coming across you know all countries and uh, even though even though we're hearing the new strains come in and you know different countries have are seeing different you know peak levels but i remain hopeful i'm trying to make sure that we're looking at the glass as being half full you know again all of us have lot to be lots to be thankful for so focusing on that sending good vibes out but in terms of uh, i think working and coming back to normalcy we'll we'll all have to um, i i believe get used to getting our heads around the fact that it's not going to be exactly mm. what it was and may like, not be and that's fine and i feel like that's fine another you know? six months because of vaccine itself will take months to get everyone vaccinated only 2 million in america have been vaccinated and i heard dr fauci saying that when when 85% are vaccinated we can look at some normalcy so yeah. those are facts from the the leaders you know so how can you go to work when only 2% of the country is vaccinated you know so yeah i think it's still a, it's still a wait and watch and um, and it's not just work right it's it's schools yeah. it's just you know restaurants gyms and just the other social activities that all of us engage in as you know as as just a group of uh, folks together so, so i had some questions for you karishma because you are in the day to day corporate setup you know what uh, how's it been for hr because hr is usually we are front facing employee facing uh, functions you know we can't do like it or uh, you know finance where you can sit anywhere and operate hr has to be front how's it been for hr as an hr leader during a pandemic since you're remote i i feel i think that's a, that's an interesting question and I, the way i look about it, the way i look at it is really in terms of how are we really supporting uh, you know our, our our businesses or whatever organizations that we have in terms of you know really making sure that the employee base is adapting to the new normal right so whether it's from a from a policy perspective new ways of thinking new support support systems for our employees yeah. something as simple as you know leave or you know things like that is is one way the other piece is also in terms of you know, all of us are grappling with so much of change we're working from home which is which is not not something that you know most organizations were were propounding pre pandemic and how do we adapt how do we uh, look at it from a cultural perspective how do we continue to promote uh, teamwork and collaboration when everybody is virtual so i think those are some of the 
considerations which you know hr leaders and hr folks didn't have um you know prior to the pandemic but you know has become a reality and we have to adapt quickly it's, we didn't have organizations didn't have the luxury of time right so we were thinking on our feet and responding so i feel those are some of the areas that we've had to pivot as a function right and then when you think about wellness i think wellness overall employee wellness it has become such a such a key focus area it always was but now with this pandemic as a backdrop it, it has a new new nuance to it so i think it's just about pivoting what we were earlier used to as a function and then adapting it as as nice. we're saying to the new normal so i know you had like one uh, you know corporate uh, like cocktail evening on a friday on on zoom i think so i thought like how do you keep employees motivated remotely like through zoom or through calls or through emails or like hr on the floor we used to do so many activities and engage the employees but now how how are you finding doing that i mean i think this is an opportunity for all of us to really be creative right and as as individuals as human beings we crave for for social connection and we can't have that and 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 it's not just hr i think it's it's also you know you look at the entertainment business you look at you know actors you looked at sports. you look at sports you look at you know folks in the theater uh, people who love to tra- people who love to travel so I, i think this this virtual reality if i can use that term is is really something that has permeated its way all through our society and all through different aspects of it so i would really say you know keep pushing your your beliefs in terms of what you think is possible and and think creatively right so who knew zoom would be such a such a cool platform and you guys have seen we've celebrated the children's birthdays you know on zoom with the family and that's been special and you know this time last year would you even think of doing that you wouldn't right so it's about how do you keep celebrate those moments and make them special but again you know given the fact that we have to be safe and and you know being virtual but then how do we keep that connect whether it be in a team environment whether it be us as a family extended family friends i think it's it's we have to keep pushing the envelope as far as creative thinking goes so speaking of uh, virtual i think now tomorrow's the super bowl right it's the first time a super bowl is being played with no uh, spectators you know remote everyone's going to watch it on their tv or on their uh, you know the teams only will be playing i've i've never thought of a super bowl without audience and of course i'm excited i i only watch the super bowl final i don't watch all the games but tomorrow mr brady is in his team tampa so we are rooting for the brady uh, win tomorrow so yeah sorry karishma i diverted but i'm thinking of super bowl tomorrow no that's a that's a big one so in fact one of the reasons why we are why we are out today is also trying to uh, figure out what our um, uh, what grub as we watch the super bowl is going to be and yeah. I think traditionally chicken it's, wings. it's chicken wings yeah. so we, we're going to be attempting our our take on it and like I said you know just trying to enjoy these small moments and make them special even though it's it's not what we've been used to historically so we don't watch many games of NBA or NFL but the finals are so amazing with the performances of uh, you know the singers dancers and like NBA finals also we watch the the last seven games always you know irrespective of who we support uh, you know when canada was in the finals a, a couple of years back we supporting canada also so it's fun uh, and it's on sunday so it's nice and chilled out but just to summarize our uh, topic for today guys you know it's been a year since the uh, kids have been to school and karishma has been to work physically i work remotely so it doesn't matter to me at all but uh, karishma just to summarize uh, your thoughts on the next 1 to 2 years and we are very lucky to have jobs we are very lucky to have salaries coming in in this kind of scenario a lot of people have lost their jobs uh, pilots and uh, and chefs and restaurant uh, workers and you know you name it people have lost their careers their jobs uh, their life savings so a government check is not going to give you much it's just 6 to 800 dollars is not going to pay for education and food and housing so it's very tough times uh, but we've been lucky so we want to share that you know how have we stayed motivated as a family karishma uh, it's four of us in the house every day you know working in a small space how has that been for you with your calls and your meetings and everything it's been it's been hilarious i think that's the only way of 
of at least that I cope. I try and look at the either the bright side or the funny side and you have to chuckle your way through it. And of course, like I've always said, count your blessings because even through the worst of it all, there is there are um in terms of the experience it's it's you guys who've been you know, if you've been watching Ryan's channel for a for a fair amount of time and at least over the last year, you've seen our, you know, home set up. Ivanka and I share literally the same whatever eight ten feet of space so one half of our dining area is is a fifth grade classroom and the other one's uh, an office and uh, so it's been fun where you know Ivanka and I have this have this connect where we're like okay this is an important call Ivanka so keep it down or mom I have a quiz or I have you know a presentation to make so you keep it down so it's it's been it's been um I think we've had to we've had to be flexible. We've had to, like I said, think on our feet. We have to go with the flow, and at the same time, um, always look at the bright side, right? So I'm, you know, we're, we're with the kids 24/7. I personally love it. I'm sure they don't like it, but uh, I, I no complaints, honestly. Okay, guys. So we are reaching our destination. If you like some similar kind of videos on corporate uh, world, etc., with Karishma and me. Uh, as I keep saying, we both have a lot of experience amongst us uh, both. So please hit the like button if you like this video and a big thumbs up for Karishma on the camera skills and the uh, uh, vlogging skills. Thank you, Karishma. No worries. I hope I've not messed it up. We will know once <laughs> Ryan takes it to the, the editing table. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. Have a lovely rest of the weekend. We're about to park our car, so we're going to sign out. Take care, guys. Cheers, Bye. folks. Bye.